Hi, I'm Brooke Horsch, the Executive Director of Utah Presents, and I'm here at Kingsbury Hall, all by myself. <laughs> Remember what experiencing live performance in the moment, gathered with others, felt like? I do, and I miss it. I miss the anticipation. I miss the moments of shared laughter, and awe, and tears, discomfort, and stunned inspiration. I miss losing myself in the show while knowing that you are all there with me. The unique together alone of live performance. We haven't been together alone for months now, longer than I think any of us originally anticipated, certainly longer than any of us would like. Yet we have been together despite the first COVID disruption back in March. We came together to postpone and reschedule and commiserate and then the creative community came together, despite the limitations of quarantine, to share their talents and culture and ideas with all of you online. Then the murders of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and Ahmoud Arbery and the many before them demanded we come together, despite the pandemic, to speak and to act against racism, to stand in solidarity with communities of color, to shout Black Lives Matter. Just last week, we came together for our first virtual performance and fundraiser event. Despite the continued uncertainty, we gathered virtually to look to the future, to evolve how we serve our community and support artists, and to declare that free does not feed. Art, artists, and arts organizations have worth. As the launch of our 2021 season is just around the corner, we'll come together despite the challenges. We may not be able to gather shoulder to shoulder like we did before, but Utah Presents is still here, and we're still passionate about the role that creativity plays in making our lives vibrant and valuable, especially during a pandemic. We are still here, figuring out how to create these connections, how to bring all of us together, despite our darkened theaters. So I'm excited to share with you some of the plans for how we'll be together, particularly because for some, the virtual space will open up possibility for participation and engagement in a way that physical gatherings sometimes can't. Now, no matter where you are or whether or not you showered that day, you can join us to meet the Russian activist, member of feminist punk rock band Pussy Riot, author, and protest artist Nadia Tolokonikova. You can see her up close from the best seat in your house. The conversation between Nadia and KRCL's Lara Jones, host of Radioactive, is now happening on October 15th at 7 p.m. All you have to do is register for a free ticket to get the details. If you want an even more unique experience and to support Utah Presents work to connect the change makers of the future, our students, with artists like Nadia, Donate to gain access to our first ever virtual book club. Then grab your copy of Read and Riot and join us on October 8th for a more intimate chat with Nadia and others about the book. Or maybe in years past you haven't acted quickly enough to nab a ticket to the sellout TEDx Salt Lake City. Now, because we'll be together virtually, we have enough spots for everyone. Join us on September 19th from the back porch or the kitchen island or your favorite chair to hear ideas worth spreading about unconventional wisdom from local speakers and performers. Maybe you are going to be out of town in November when Utah Presents is welcoming Dancing Earth's indigenous contemporary dance creations to our community. Doesn't matter now, you can join us for their cutting edge performance piece between Underground and Sky World from anywhere. Created by the next generation of indigenous superheroes, between Underground and Skyworld, cyberspace creates an exciting new vision for what online performance can be. Now reimagined as an interactive mini-series of dynamic episodes, the story will culminate in a live virtual performance followed by an interactive reflection pool with the dancers on November 20th. If you're wondering about other shows, particularly the ones that, despite our best efforts, just really need that in-person togetherness, Check your email inbox or our website or social media posts for updates. 
We'll be working on everything and keeping you in the know as we figure it out. We are all anxious to be together alone in the theater with one another again. And we know that artists will keep exploring complex issues, imagining different perspectives and inspiring awe. And Utah Presents will continue to be at the leading edge of curating and connecting you with that work. We'll be together despite it all.